Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about replacing the speed controller slash receiver unit, which is a one-piece unit in the Lighthawk XS series vehicles. Um, in the vehicles we've got three major electronic components. We've got this box here, which is your receiving unit from the controller itself, as well as the speed controller, which allows the steering servo on the opposing side and the motor to get the power that you want when you want it. So we're going to dive in here really quick. Now, I've done a few other videos with this chassis, so I've already cut off the zip tie, um, which holds down these, these wires here. So that's already been done for us. First thing I like to do is remove the plug, uh, again, for the steering servo. Again, if you're going step by step and this is your first time, and you haven't done anything like this before, if you've got a cell phone or a tablet or just any old camera, you can take some digital uh, pictures step by step so if you get confused or you're waiting for parts or life got in the way and you don't get it back uh, together that quickly you won't kind of lose focus and, and steps of where you're at so we've been uh, anyway just as an aside or a tip so we've got this off and then we're going to unplug our motor wires here and these connectors here are on fairly snug and try to pull from the metal and not the wire we you know it's We've all done it in our lives where we take that plug and we, and we pull it out from the wire and the next thing you know the plug's still on the wall and the wire's in your hand. So they are fairly tight so we want to make sure we're pulling from the metal. You could use um, some needle nose pliers if uh, you're just finding it a little difficult to, to get those apart. And then our battery connector because we're not connected to a battery, which we definitely don't want to be when we're doing an application like this, is, is already free. So all of our plugs are undone now. Now we just have to take a Phillips screwdriver and we're just going to remove the screws which hold it down. There are three screws, there's one at the front. All right, so we've got our, our front screw out and we're gonna unscrew our, our uh, two screws at the back. If you have a magnetic tip screwdriver, this will make your life easy as the screw comes off uh, and pulls up that way. Otherwise, you may be chasing uh, down the chassis, which is no hardship. There's the third one there. So, as you can see, this box is now removed and out of the chassis. And uh, again, for just re-install, uh, we've got our new one. Let's just pretend here. And we take it and uh, place it back in the car. The nice thing about this is you do not have to remove the, uh, the upper plate, the motor, or anything else to get this back in the chassis. So. All right, so we've got our uh, speed controller and uh, receiver unit back in place. We've got three screws. Again, with the magnetic tip screwdriver, it makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, it can uh, be a little bit uh, fum fumbly to uh, get it back in. So we've got our three screws. As you can see, this kind of pops off in a flash. And once we get these screws back in, which I recommend to do, before we get excited and start plugging in wires. So once we get them back in, we're gonna plug in our wires again. And then we're going to uh, plug in our steering servo. And we're good to go. So check out our other helpful videos and tips and uh, replacing components for the XS series or any of the other series of light arc vehicles you have. We're trying to do videos for all of them. Thank you and uh, have fun out there with your cars.